Hi, my name is Katie McKinstry and I'm a graduate student in the Lab for Manufacturing and Sustainability at UC Berkeley. Today I'll be describing process assessment tools that we've used with the Sustainable Manufacturing Partnership, a collaboration between academia and industry. Our research lies at the intersection of economic, environmental, and academic work. We're looking for solutions that are profitable, lower environmental impact, and contribute to the academic field of sustainable manufacturing. While many entities focus on just one of these goals, in our projects we're working on all three. One of the major issues in manufacturing is energy. In our work, we identify inefficiencies in energy consumption, transmission, and internal distribution during our core manufacturing processes. I apply this approach to automobile painting process this summer. Painting has a different significance depending on what part of the manufacturing chain you're examining. One study showed that painting consumes approximately 60% of the energy required for an automobile assembly plant and 20% of total corporate energy use. In our study of automobile paint shops, we identified inefficiencies in energy transmission and looked at better ways to deliver heat to air supply houses that condition the air going into paint shop spray booths. In our integrated research approach, we worked with all three branches to synthesize expertise and add value to the process. We worked with the R&D, plant management, and paint engineering to come up with the best solution. Now I'll present another case study. In this case study, we examined part cleaning in the automotive industry. This research was conducted by Sarab Garg, another graduate student in the Laboratory for Manufacturing and Sustainability. The motivation for his case study is as follows. Of the total manufacturing costs for an automobile, cleaning comprises between 8 and 20 percent of all these costs. Most of the cleaning costs are from energy and with a, just a few from consumables. So reducing energy in the cleaning process can have a major impact on total costs. Now we'll take a little turn to thermodynamics. Saurabh used a pinch analysis to model energy flows. The most important thing to take away from this curve is that we were able to recover wasted heat and in turn reduce energy consumption. So is this plan economically feasible? Here we have annual cost on the y-axis and years on the x. And after we finish paying for the heat exchanger system in three years, we see a 70% reduction in energy costs. Even better, this graph depicts the accumulated greenhouse gas emissions versus time. The design with a heat exchanger has a greenhouse gas payback period of less than two months, meaning that once this time is up, we'll be saving significant, significant amounts of greenhouse gas every year and already accounted for the initial investment of resources needed to install heat exchangers. In conclusion, identifying and addressing process inefficiencies can have positive environmental and economic inputs. Identifying the low-hanging fruit enables improvements without radical changes to core manufacturing processes. Thanks for watching, and please feel free to contact me with any questions. I can be reached at mckinstry at berkeley.edu or use our QR code pictured on the PowerPoint. Thank you.